ready. That should do it. Let's see. There's no glitches here. Let's, yes, let's play. Alright, trying a little different um, visual setup on this one. Uh, yeah, anyway, how you guys doing today is uh, May 12th, 2023. Let's uh, head out. I believe it should be first thing in the morning for us. And actually, before anything, let me check what deck I'm working with here. It has been a while since I played this, so. Terra Force. Hmm. Right, right. Let's, uh, I think this is the deck we ended on last time. Let's actually switch decks. What do we want to go with today? Hand loot deck. That sounds interesting. How appropriate. Oh, yeah, this one's a fun one. Um, should I go? You know what? Yeah, we're going to do some early morning duels here. Let's go with how appropriate. There we go. All right, nice, nice. It's been so long that uh, I've actually forgotten some of the uh, texts I already had set up on this, but hey, that's cool. Uh, one thing I do remember, though, I watched the last episode. Uh, yeah, start of a new day. We're going to head to the shop and buy some pets. So, wish me luck. The shop enter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, normally I have, like, the, uh, the, you know, Soldier Boy game console all the way over there to the right. Uh, but I've noticed some, like, framing... Uh, issues on a different LP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try. Oh, let me move my mouse out of the way. There we go. We're gonna try it kind of in the middle, and you know that way I can kind of maybe figure out uh, some better stuff. Um, let's buy a couple of these packs. We'll buy like three of these. A couple of spells and traps. I'm looking for out of here. Let's see if we get them. All of them in light. Oh, I think that's our second one. Cults Emperor Dragon. Envoy of the Inn. Very good card. Uh, let's open one more. Alright. Oh, little glitch there. Soul Reversal. Uh, this is good for some uh, deck out decks. Yeah, it lets you get a flip effect monster back to the top of the deck. Not bad, not bad. There's some mill decks that work really good with that. Yeah, think about it. You put a morphing jar back on top of your deck and then, yeah, do the combo all over again. Pretty good. Uh, don't really need either of these, but Urchin can be used in quite a variety of decks. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure also I was looking for a certain card, or I might have been looking for more of the XYZ cards. I know we're missing, basically you want three of each. You know, three X Head Cannon, three Y Dragon Head, uh, I'm also miss. I don't have three of each fusion yet either, so any of the fusions we get is good. Uh, we might actually be missing the fusion too. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I know for sure we need more uh, alphabet pieces <laughs> for the soup. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a deck I want to show off eventually. So, but no hurry. We got plenty more of this game to play. So, rope of spirit, huh? That mispolymerization is incredibly funny. Imagine playing that against hero decks. <laughs> that would probably even work in Master Duel. You know, just wait till they're at the very end of their combo. Mispolymerization. Creature Swap, not bad. I don't know if we have just one or we just got a second copy, but... This creature... I think Creature Swap is unlimited in this game, too. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Ooh, blue Lights Ultimate. Dragon. Nice. Alright. Well, we didn't get any pieces, but that's okay. Uh, lastly, we're going to open up four of the Force Raider pack. Yeah, so I checked some of these packs off screen, and yeah, these are the ones I want. Uh, we are looking for some certain cards out of these. Um, haven't got them yet. If, if we did, I'd be way more excited. Like, I probably would have started yelling at the top of my lungs. But uh, if we don't get it, it's fine. Excavation of Mage Stones is... That's a common? That's surprisingly good. Um, I forget if MS Mystical Space Typhoon is limited. Uh, if it's not, we're probably going to add an extra one to all of our decks. Because some spells and traps can be just annoying, you know. Whoa, glitch. Mm, 
twin head behemoth. Okay. Not what we're looking for. Let's see if we can get it in the last pack. And we'll save our the rest of our points for another time. Seven. Oh. Ah, nope. Oh well. Still, we did get some pretty good cards. Uh, Alright, let's head on out. And we'll duel some of the warning people here. Uh, Alright, it's 1014. So I did that stuff in the shop. Uh, we'll go to like uh, about 1034. Should be safe enough. Alright, let's duel some of the warning people here. There's regular Yugi. Okay. <laughs> Almost called her Teyana. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Grandpa Yugi. Now, from what I remember, uh, Grandpa gives like a huge amount of uh, uh, points toward your experience. So, a pretty good idea to know him. I heard you're making quite a name for yourself, but the only way you know it is you really are so cool. Yeah, let's do it. Versus his Exodia deck, Ancient Pharaoh. <laughs> How appropriate. Alright. Nice. We'll be going second. Alright. Back into the swing of it. Let's see. Not a bad hand. Not a bad hand. Our board set up here. Two Gemini Elf. Very good. We're gonna go with Mistra Witcher. Okay, and we'll activate DDC, Different Dimension Capsule. Of course, we're gonna take out probably Pot of Green. Uh, well, actually, we already have the combo, so I'll take out another Disturbance Strategy. And we'll set these two cards. Grandpa's deck is at two offensively base. It's not very power heavy, so I'm actually gonna keep Mirror Force in my hand. Doesn't he have Spirit Reaper? <laughs> it, it, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I don't remember everything. He might have Patricia and Darkness, too. Snake Care, okay. We can handle that. It's the Snake Care. Alright, and we will end the turn. Okay, so one thing I do remember doing, though, is kind of messing with the size. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do remember doing this. Okay, like, yeah, that, that's perfect. Let's try this with the max view. Yeah. Okay. Enter. There we go. Let's see if I can remember the controls without seeing them. <laughs> Alright. Drop. One turn capsule. Okay, so now let's play... Is this Disturbance? No, no, no. Let's play Disturbance Strategy here. I think we have the whole uh, cube. So chain is appropriate. Uh, oh, I don't know. There we go, there we go. Okay. So yes, we will now activate appropriate. Appropriate. So now whenever he draws outside of his draw phase, we get to draw two cards. Alright, kind of dangerous to give an Exodia deck more cards, but we're going to do it. Attack the snake here. He left in attack mode. Maybe the AI is playing a 5D chess right here. <laughs> Alright, so now he gets two cards, we get two cards. Shadow, Simple Zakai, Alright, we got a great rock, that's good. And I think we'll, well, we'll go with Toon Gemini Elf, main phase two. There we go. Alright, that ends my turn. Yeah, I kind of remember the controls without actually being able to See, see the menu. Nice. All right. Does Grandpa have anything good in his graveyard? Like any good spells? I don't think so. Not yet. But uh, well, we did just have the capsule shatter, and now he gets the card we added. So we'll set the service strategy face down. Battle face down. Uh, be sure butcher. Attack the new card you just set. What you got, buddy? 
So good thing we attack this first. Yeah, so if you flip some in this card, it's kind of like a Pac-Man card, Swarm of Scarabs. Yeah, very, very deadly. Like if you had Gravity Bind or something, we would have been screwed because whenever you flip summon it, uh, you get to destroy one monster. And then it has the Pac-Man ability where you can set it back face down uh, once per turn, face down in defensive position. So that's pretty deadly, yeah. Very glad he didn't have his uh, stall card yet. Because I'm pretty sure Grandpa does have a stall card in this game. Uh, yeah. I don't remember exactly like if he has Messenger of Peace or... Well, it doesn't matter what stall card he has now. We have uh, Jinzo. I, what's funny is I actually don't want to play Jinzo right now. Because we've got the full combo, so... Unless I see a deadly trap... Uh, that I don't like. Um, I guess we'll be keeping Jinzo in hand for now. Uh, not bad cards. And yeah, see, we keep drawing good traps called the Haunted. Okay. Um, he's got two monsters on the field. You know what? Um, what's in our graveyard? I don't think there's any good spells. Well, there's different Dimension Capsule. No, no, no. Well, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm actually gonna summon the Show Faith and Attack Moon. Yep. And we're gonna equip her with United Big Sam. Probably the first time I've ever done this, but uh Okay, there we go. Nice. So she's a strong 2700. Alright, let's get to work here. Butcher, once again. Attack what we know we can beat. Snake hair goes down again. I guess he didn't want another two cards. He didn't put this one in attack mode. But then again, we do have two Gemini Elf this time. So that's, you know, you never want to lose cards when you're playing the Enexodia deck. Skulls are, oh man. <laughs> All right. Pretty easy. All right. Looks like we've got this one under control, so, uh, Alright, Grandpa, this might be your last turn. What do you got? A little burn damage? That ain't gonna be good enough, buddy. Ah, healing. Uh, uh, yeah. He does like to stall out the game. Does, it, does he have Nimble Mabonga in this deck? I don't remember. If he does, that's... That, that, that sucks. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. One monster face down. Draw Hero Shadow Scout, huh? Pretty interesting. Alright, we'll set this guy. And he has no cards in hand. Uh, yeah, and these two are relatively close in points, so we'll just attack with two Gemini Elf. We can't make him discard anyway, you know, so might as well be safe. There are some solid 1800 defenders in this game, so. Right. Butcher. Oh, you know what I should have done? I could have done the ultimate combo. Butcher, make him draw two. And then two Gemini Elf, make him discard one. Ah, that's genius. I don't think I've ever had the opportunity to do that combo in this, uh, uh, so far. So that's why I didn't think of it. Till now. Till now. <laughs> Alright, main phase two. Can we get something good? You know what? We did get disturbing strategy. We'll set that face down. I think we're good. Your turn, Grandpa. Alright. Another monster face down and another card. So at the end phase, we'll play our loops. Another disturbing strategy. Alright, so we'll shuffle that out. He'll draw one card and we'll take two. Yoink! Oh man, this deck is really good. I should be running Zodiac deck. Look at all these cards I have, man. <laughs> Look at my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Eight cards in hand. Uh, maybe I should Giant Trune just to make sure. I think I will. Uh, activate. There we go. Yeah, let's make sure this is the last turn. Nice. Alright, and where's United We Stand? United we 
understand what. Hang on. I can't see this. Oh, there it is. Wow. Her <laughs> hand size is so giant, I almost missed it. Because she does have exactly 2700, right? Mm, yep. Okay. We'll try for exact zero. Uh, butcher attack. <laughs> Born in. Yeah, Grandpa's deck, Exodia deck in this game is so bad, it's not even funny. Uh, yeah, you might have part of the underdog in this game. Is it this game or like Legacy of the Duelist? I know in one of the games he does, and that makes it a bit better, but yeah. Uh, anyway. You win! Hmm, nice. We're only 190 away from a level up. Alright, we get 120 there. Look at that, they'll make a great ride for you. Yeah, thanks. Oh, speaking of uh, level up, uh, let's save on states 9 and 10. Uh, yeah, I remember having an issue with backup files. 9 and 10, before I forget. Yeah, I remember, I do remember that from like quite a few recording sessions ago, but yeah, I'll try to remember that, but you know, just in case, just in case something goes wrong, wrong here. Uh, let's see who we can find over here. Uh, they're close. It's getting real red. There we go, Serenity. Uh, who else we got? Anyone we haven't registered. There's regular you know. Might just be these two out here. Uh, no, there's one more person here. Make go. All right, well we'll just fight uh, Serenity for whatever reason. We're basically passing the time early in the morning. I'm doing so I can feel closer to my brother. I just want to be near him. What will you do with me? Of course, let's do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, she probably should have crashed there while she had the chance. and the experience. Ah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting to the groove. 23... 2930. Alright. No, I lost. I thought I had a good chance this time. Ah, it's okay, Serenity. You tried your best. Alright, well with that, we're gonna save at the house. And we're gonna take the train to... Um... The town next door. I think we have time for one more move. And that'll be it for this episode, so... Yeah. Well, let's do it. Matter of fact, since I'm going to the next town, maybe I should save state. After the... You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. That way, we can make the most of our day. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Oh man, I missed this music. Domino Town. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah, I did not name this uh, Domino, didn't I? The town of Domino, home of Battle City. Alright, who's over here? Oops. Someone unknown? Okay. Uh, who's right here? Another unknown. Okay, well this is probably either my or Joey. In fact, it could be my and Joey. Or Rebecca. I don't think we registered either of the three, so let's just go here. It's Rebecca. Oh, I forgot to check the AMSC. Teddy, isn't it great to find duels all over the city? Huh? You want to duel me? Fine with me. Oh boy. We got an uphill battle. Here we go. Big Bang USA versus How Appropriate. This might be a two-parter. You guys know how Rebecca be dueling. This might be a two-parter. <laughs> well, if it is, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, she loves her stall cards, man. All right, wish me luck. Who goes first? Oh, she does, okay. Great music, though. Do -do -do -do. Bum, bum, bum. 
Oh, two of them. That is not good at all. Luckily, she's not gaining any life points yet. Yeah, two. Man, I remember losing to this deck so much as a kid. Rebecca's deck. It just it combos so deadly, and I think the most uh, dangerous part about it, though, is not so much the Fire Princess combo. It's the fact that she only has like one level five or higher monster. You know, it's, it's all level fours and twos and threes, etc. With good effects. Um, also, she runs like the DD Warrior ladies too. Um, but like, yeah. Uh, that's the most difficult part about her. It's like, you know, no matter what, she's able to summon. Uh, it seems like no matter what. So, uh, we'll switch Germ to defense mode. I guess we'll just roll with, uh, Jun Gemini Elf. Hopefully she doesn't have a trap. Okay, we're good. For now. And we can't sack on the turn we played, so we'll end the turn. Oh, I entered the battle phase, huh? Okay, I thought I was gonna have to maximize, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not to mention she has like pot of greed, great culture, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Her deck is really good, you know. As if the consistent level of force wasn't enough, you know. She's got the draw power to back it up. So about a ninety percent chance she, she has a gravity bind set, or she's going to set one now. So. Uh, I'll probably giant true nade. Yeah, another face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, because we need to get rid of the fire princesses at all costs. You get it? That again? That's right. All of them bounce. And you know what? You know what? We're gonna uh, set magician of fate so we can hurricane next turn too. All right. And hopefully we have good luck. And we like bounced gravity bind, you know what I mean? And now we get it out of our hand. That would be best case scenario. That would be pristine luck. All right, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully we hit it out. Uh, okay, okay. We'll check the graveyard. We'll check the graveyard. What was it? I need to know. I need to know. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh man, that is lucky. And she uh, discarded level limit with uh, gravity, with a uh, grateful charity. So nice. We got a good hit. Good hit. All right. But I think she has a couple copies of each, so it ain't over. It ain't over yet. Not to mention, I think she has injection fairy lily too in her deck. Uh oh. There's a life point gaining card. Uh oh. All right. There's 500 damage. Okay, well, we're going to activate Solemn Wishes now before I forget. Here we go. And we'll take back uh, Giant Trunate here. Yeah, because she might have, especially if she sets down three face downs. Alright, so Giant Trunate, we'll take you back. Thank you, buddy. The spirit of Joey helping us out on this one. down, two face downs, three, okay, okay, we're playing Giant Trinity, we're playing Giant Trinity, all right, all right, I activate Giant Trinity, and go Giant Trinity, drain the sea, all right, and we'll set this face down, oh, you know what, maybe we'll get lucky, what if we set Morphing Jar, and discard all three of those traps like before she has a chance to set up. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, take down the Fire Princess. What time are we at? Uh, yeah, this might be a two-parter. In fact, I'm gonna say this is definitely gonna be a two-parter. But I'll just keep going until the phone cuts off. All right, what did we get rid of that time? Like I said, I need to know. I need to know. Time we got rid of called the haunted. Pretty good hit, in my book. Alright. Another three face down. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me play Fairy 
Jerry Lily before I use Morphing Jar here. Yeah. All right. Go Morphing Jar. I don't know if I have Heavy Storm in this deck, but hopefully I draw it. If I do have it. By the way, I think I forgot to play Solemn Wishes. No, that's my invite. Uh, Solemn Wishes. There we go. Oh, darn. I probably could have avoided seven tools, but eh, I'm kind of glad we baited it out, if I'm being honest. Alright. Uh, we got Appropriate, which is good. We got two Appropriate. Wow. Uh, we also got Feather and the Phoenix. Um, check my graveyard real quick here. Actually, let me attack first, and then I'm going to check my graveyard to see what we want to use Phoenix on. Uh, tune out, attack this one. Yeah, yeah, there's the gravity vine, okay. Okay, so Jar attack this. Ooh, DD Warrior Lady, wow. Is she going to banish? I doubt she would here. attack with the Jinx are very lowly, plus we get the life point damage, so we face two, so she has Gravity Bind. Um, oh, I could get back Giant Trune. That's actually a fantastic idea. Um, okay, let's do it. Feather of the Phoenix. We'll once again take Giant Trune to the top of the deck. Oh, and this triggers Night Assailant. Nice, the combos, the combos. Honestly, I didn't even mean to do that, but... <laughs> nice. There we go. Okay, that worked out. Alright. Sand Gain, huh? Interesting choice to play that in attack mode when I've got Injection Fairy Lily, but... Uh... Oh, that's why we got rid of Solemn Wishes. I forgot to set Solemn Wishes. Um, 